Are you ready to crank up a cool career? There's so many options in the skilled trades that you may want to consider. Hi, my name is Max Verplank, and I'm an automotive student here at Wake Tech. The Applied Engineering Technologies Division is a place where students can use their hands and their brains and put them to good use. And I said we used our brains. See, we're the smart ones that'll be finding a career in two years or less, because our skills are just in such high demand. This division offers some of the coolest state-of-the-art opportunities to learn skills that are needed every day. Here are some of the programs. Air conditioning, heating and refrigeration, automotive, building automation, construction management, electrical systems, heavy equipment, plumbing, and welding. The next time your neighbor's drain stops off, their car won't start, or their air conditioning breaks, they'll be calling you. Trust me. Local dealerships and automotive shops say they're in desperate need of automotive technicians. Not the old school mechanics you might be thinking about, but highly skilled technicians who are trained in the latest diagnostics and automotive systems technologies. Wake Tech can teach you these skills. And face it, we live in a booming area with so much construction taking place in the triangle. Contractors need workers skilled in construction management, building automation, electrical systems, and welding. Actually, they need experts in all of the applied technologies. This division also offers architectural technology, biopharmaceutical technology, civil engineering, electronics engineering, mechanical engineering, geomatics, interior design, and more. While all of these programs prepare students for immediate employment, the great thing is they also offer an opportunity to continue your education at a university. You could also go straight to work after you graduate and start working on your advanced degree at the same time. The specialized labs for these programs are high tech and state of the art with the latest tools and equipment to prepare you for the skills needed for today and in the future. Most of the labs are on the Southern Wake or Scott Northern Wake campuses, and the college continues to update these labs and expand. This is one of the newest facilities, the Center for Building Technologies on the Southern Wake campus. Look at all the shiny new technology, and the new Hendrix Center for Automotive Excellence on the Scott Northern Wake campus is destined to become one of the nation's premier automotive training centers. Are you planning on taking your general education classes online? You'll be happy to know that Wake Tech is actually the number one ranked online community college in the country. That's right, number one. Wake Tech's virtual support center can connect you with everything from financial aid and advising to e-learning support. You can even access Wake Tech libraries and other services remotely. All campuses have a great library, a tutoring center, career and employment resources, and a disability support services. There are great spaces to study between classes, open computer labs, and plenty of coffee shops so you can pick up something before your early morning or late afternoon class. If you like sports, this is the place to be. Wake Tech has two gyms, one on the Southern Wake and one on the Scott Northern Wake campus. The Wake Tech Eagles shine in the National Junior College Athletic Association. Beyond sports, there are a lot of activities and leadership opportunities to enrich your college experience. And now is the time. Go ahead and fill out your Wake Tech application and get cruising on your journey toward a new career. Welcome to Applied Engineering and Technology's presentation. Our division has three departments, Applied Engineering and Design, Skilled Trades and Construction, and Transportation. Our technology programs within Applied Engineering and Design are Architectural, Biopharmaceutical, Civil Engineering, Electronics Engineering, Geomatics, Interior Design, and Mechanical Engineering. Within the Skilled Trades and Construction, we have Air Conditioned Heating and Refrigeration, Construction Management, electrical systems, facility maintenance, plumbing, and welding. In transportation, we have agricultural systems, automotive systems, collision repair and refinishing, construction equipment systems, diesel and heavy equipment, and heavy equipment operation. Benefits of associate in applied science and applied engineering technologies is you get hands-on learning, the opportunity for work-based learning in the field, apprenticeships with major employers, scholarships, and sponsorships are available in some programs. Other benefits are the technical careers are in high demand. You can start your career in one or two years. We have strong industry partnerships, strong employment growth, 
These careers have good starting salaries. The next part of the presentation will be a variety of videos highlighting each one of our programs. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. If you like chemistry and would like to play a part in the manufacturing of medications, then the Biopharmaceutical Technology Program at Wake Tech may be right for you. The curriculum prepares you for employment in pharmaceutical manufacturing and related industries. Major emphasis is placed on manufacturing processes and quality assurance procedures. Coursework includes general education, computer applications, biology, chemistry, industrial safety, and an extensive array of biopharmaceutical technology core classes. The Biopharmaceutical Technology Program offers an Associate Applied Science degree along with four certificates. Their certificates specialize in the areas of advanced biopharmaceutical practices, biopharmaceutical manufacturing and quality, biopharmaceutical regulations, and pharmaceutical basics. If pursuing a bachelor's degree is your goal, the AAS degree also provides you the option to transfer to a four-year college or university such as North Carolina Central University, East Carolina University, Campbell University, or North Carolina Wesleyan College. There are work-based learning opportunities available among the strong local industry connections in the area. Starting out, graduates can make $18 to $22 per hour with rotating three and four day weekly shifts. The pharmaceutical manufacturing job market in the North Carolina area is very attractive with a projected 6% job growth over 10 years. Employment opportunities for graduates include, but are not limited to, chemical quality assurance, microbiological quality assurance, product inspection, documentation review, manufacturing, and product process validation. On the Biopharmaceutical Technology website, you can see the list of the many companies where our Wake Tech graduates are currently working. The biopharmaceutical industry has very strict procedures and codes of conduct. Acceptance of this structure and control is paramount for success in this program and this field of employment. If you are interested in a fulfilling biopharmaceutical technologies career, then contact Jill Mekalecki or find more details through the biopharmaceutical technology link at aat.waketech.edu. If you have a creative mind, if you have a technical mind, if you like to draw, if you like to think about how things are put together, come to our program. If you are interested in becoming an architect, start here. Figure out what you are interested in and move in that direction. We offer an associate's degree, but we also have certificates that range from CAD certificates, building information modeling certificates, rendering certificates that help our students to be trained in very specific areas. Our students start the program out learning how to draw by hand. Learning how to draw by hand is a communication skill. You're taking information that has been verbally given to you and you're trying to communicate it in a format that is graphic orientation. Because our field has moved into a more digital field as well, our students are also trained in AutoCAD software to teach them how to take that content that is hand-driven into a more digital format. Building information modeling or 3D modeling teaches students how to take that two-dimensional information and insert it into a three-dimensional capability that a lot of our employers ask for. Our program is one of the few programs that trains students how to really do all of that. You are learning how to communicate in multiple ways. And you also need to understand math. You have to measure things, you have to coordinate things, take square footage values, volume calculations, calculating loads on buildings. You don't want things to fall down. Our students go into design firms, architecture firms, engineering firms, mechanical, electrical, or plumbing for landscape architects and builders or contractors. Our job placement rate is in the upwards of 95%. They are either going into an internship before they finish their degree, or they go right into a job opportunity after they graduate. This is a good place for you to get your base knowledge, some of your early design skills, for you to build your portfolio. So if you want to learn more about architecture, and if you want to be ready to move to your next step, this is a place to start. If you're a creative, and like designing interior spaces, the interior design curriculum at Wake Tech may be right for you. 
It prepares students for a variety of job opportunities in the field of both residential and non-residential interior design. The focus of the studies is technical knowledge, professional practices, and aesthetic principles. You'll develop skills and knowledge in universal design, architectural drafting, and technical software, which includes AutoCAD, Revit, SketchUp, Chief Architect, and Photoshop. Also covered are space planning, codes, history of interiors and furnishings, lighting, color theory, products, business practices, and graphic presentations. The program offers three certificates and an Associate Applied Science degree. The certificates specialize in area of residential interior design, decor focus interior design, and commercial interior design. Students in the Wake Tech program are competitive with four-year institutions in curriculum-related competitions. There is an interior design club for current and former students. Plus, the program has a strong employer and alumni network, which helps with work-based learning opportunities for school and job opportunities after graduation. Employment of interior designers is projected to grow 4% over 10 years. Graduates may qualify for a variety of jobs, including residential and commercial interior design, facility management, set design, showroom design, sales positions for furniture, textiles, and accessories, and all businesses dealing with interiors. Designers will be needed to respond to consumers' expectations that the interiors of homes and offices meet all required state and local codes, as well as certain conditions such as being environmentally friendly and more readily accessible. If you are interested in a fulfilling interior design career, then contact Andrea Bocci or find more details through the interior design link at aat.waketech.edu. So the job market's very hot right now. We get weekly inquiries from local industry looking for our students. So if you like math and you like puzzles and you like trying to fit things together, then civil engineering technology or geomatics technology may be the perfect thing for you. So there are three different pathways that a lot of our students take. The first one would be that they could become a CAD designer, where they would be in the office doing designs on residential and commercial land development projects. The second one would be a construction administrator, where they could be in the field looking at the plans that were done by an engineer, making sure that everything was constructed according to plan. And then the third one would be a construction materials testing technician, where they could be in the field testing construction materials as they come in. That could be things like concrete or aggregates or asphalt, and making sure that those materials meet the specifications before they're put in the ground or before construction starts. Or if you prefer to be in the office, a CAD technician is another way to go, where they would be in the office actually processing the data that was collected in the field. The other option would be a GIS technician where they're able to interpret data and create maps to convey the information that's needed by others. So math and English skills are extremely important. Both degrees require a lot of algebra and trigonometry for both engineering design calculations and for survey data, time management skills, and paying close attention to detail. Our geomatics technology program was altered last year so that all of our classes are offered in the evenings with a Saturday lab component or online. With the completion of our civil engineering technology degree, students have the opportunity to gain six third-party certifications through NCDOT and ACI free of charge, which saves them thousands of dollars. We would love to have you in our program. If you like to design and build things, problem solve, figure out when something will break, perform failure tests, and love math, then mechanical engineering technology may be the program for you. The MET curriculum will prepare you for employment as a mechanical engineering technician. Students learn the skills needed to assist with designing, developing, prototyping, testing, manufacturing, maintaining, and repairing mechanical equipment. The curriculum combines academic courses with hands-on experiences. Coursework includes applied mechanics, computer-aided design and drafting using AutoCAD, SolidWorks, and Creo software, engineering materials, fluid power for automation, manufacturing processes, and mechatronics. The Mechanical Engineering Technology Program offers an Associate of Applied Science degree, a diploma, and five certificates. The certificates specialize in mechanical design, mechatronics, electromechanical analysis, mechanical analysis and design, and mechanical analysis and design too. 
The Wake Tech program offers hands-on field experience through work-based learning courses and apprenticeship opportunities through its strong network of industry partners. If a bachelor's degree is your goal, then you can transfer to UNC Charlotte or East Carolina University upon completion of your AAS degree at Wake Tech. Graduates will find diverse employment opportunities related to mechanical design and manufacturing. With a broad background, combining computer-aided design and applied mechanics, mechanical engineering technology graduates should be well positioned for opportunities in the advanced manufacturing industry. If you are interested in a fulfilling career in mechanical engineering technology, then contact Steve Hudnut or find more details through the Mechanical Engineering Technology link at aet.waitech.edu. Our primary program is the Associate of Applied Science in Electronic Engineering Technology, which is a two-year degree program in electronic engineering. Under that associate degree program, we have five certificates. The majority of the students enter the workforce after graduating. However, the Associate of Applied Science degree will transfer to some colleges in their Bachelor of Engineering Technology program. The electronic engineering technology program is designed to be broad-based in order to enable you to enter a variety of career paths, anything from a traditional test technician to a biomedical technician to an automation technician. One of the highest demand careers in this area is related to automation and advanced manufacturing being able to program programmable logic controllers with motors and motor controls with sensors and transducers is critical to jobs in this arena students that succeed in fields related to electronic engineering need to have strong critical thinking skills strong collaborative skills as well as strong communication skills and this would include both oral communication and written communication. We're hard pressed to find a job in the electronic engineering field today where written communication is not essential to job performance. The world of electricity and electronics is very mathematically based. So math skills are critical to success in the program. Students in the electronic engineering technology program are required to take one math class, which is algebra and trigonometry, and then two communication classes, and both of those are composition and writing. A good number of our students, or the students in the electronic engineering technology program are attending college part-time in either the day or the evening while they work full-time for companies. These companies actively recruit graduates from our program so if you're someone that likes to work with your hands, you like to be creative and inventive, likes to program, to build things and see tangible results, the Electronic Engineering Technology Program would be a good fit for you. If you'd like more information about the Electronic Engineering Technology Program at Wake Tech, please contact the college or contact me directly. If you enjoy a challenge and would like to learn a variety of skills, then the Facilities Maintenance Technology Program may be right for you. This program offers an AAS degree, a diploma, and four certificates which specialize in electrical systems, HVACR, and basic facilities technology one and two. Coursework includes electrical, electronics, air conditioning, heating refrigeration, building automation, building codes, OSHA regulations, and computer applications. Employment opportunities are expected to grow 6% over 10 years. If you're interested in a career in facilities maintenance technology, contact John Clevenger or find more details through the facilities maintenance technology link at aet.waitech.edu. The electrical systems technology curriculum is designed to provide training for persons interested in the installation and maintenance of electrical systems found in residential, commercial, and industrial facilities. The curriculum is based on the assumption that a student has no prior knowledge or experience in electricity or electronics. 
The Electrical Systems Technology Program offers an Associate of Applied Science degree, a diploma, and five certificates. The certificates specialize in residential wiring, commercial wiring, industrial wiring, wiring methods, and renewable energy. These credentials are stackable, so there is no repetition of coursework. Completing the EST Diploma Program allows you to sit for the City of Raleigh Journeyman's Exam. Graduates of Wake Tech programs should qualify for a variety of jobs in the field as on-the-job trainees or apprentices assisting in the layout, installation, and maintenance of electrical systems. Graduates can also work towards an electrical contractor's license, enabling them to operate their own businesses. Employment for electricians is projected to grow 10 to 20 percent over 10 years. If you're interested in a fulfilling electrical career, then contact Al Brewer or find more details through the Electrical Systems Technology link at aet.waketech.edu. Um, the air conditioning industry, according to the United States Department of Labor, is predicted to have 14% growth over the next 10 years. That's an additional 50,000 jobs, and we already have a shortage of technicians in the field. That's going to open up a lot of opportunities for people who are looking for a rewarding career. Wake Tech is a school that invests heavily in getting people trained in the technical fields, and we have a lot of people who come out and get the training here so they can move into the industry. A lot of companies recruit from our program. Brady Train set up an internship several years ago where they come out every summer and meet with our students that's finishing their first year. They hire a couple of students. They have them ride the entire second year with technicians on the days they're not at Wake Tech. And then when they graduate, they typically move them into service technician roles. Uh, Brady has hired a number of students from Wake Tech. Wake Tech's plumbing program provides students with the basics of installing and repairing plumbing systems, water pipes, and drains in residential and commercial buildings. The program is a two day per week program that you can start any semester and allows time for work. There are also apprenticeship opportunities and work-based learning courses to gain valuable field experience. The plumbing program offers a one-year diploma along with three certificates. The certificate specialize in the areas of plumbing for air conditioning, heating, and refrigeration, plumbing applications, and plumbing concepts. Plumbing is a major construction trade in a demanding field. It provides hands-on work for innovative thinkers along with an opportunity to have pride in specialized skills and earn a good income. Graduates usually start at $12 an hour and reaching $20 an hour within five years. Plumbers are in great demand and a wide variety of plumbing jobs are available in residential, commercial, and specialized plumbing. Employment of plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters is projected to grow 14% over 10 years, where new construction, building maintenance, and repair will drive demand. If you are interested in a fulfilling plumbing career, then contact Jimmy Freeman or find more details through the plumbing link at aet.waitech.edu. Hi, I'm Chuck Wolf, Director for Construction Management here at Wake Tech. The Construction Management Program prepares students to enter the field of residential or commercial construction. Most of our students go on to lead successful careers as a commercial construction supervisor, project manager or estimator, a residential home builder, or other areas of construction such as building inspectors or general contractor. There are countless career opportunities in the construction field. Our program at Wake Tech offers three separate certificates along with an Associates of Applied Science degree. Some of the key classes that students take include blueprint reading, construction planning and scheduling, estimating, building science, and construction safety. Our safety courses are taught by OSHA certified instructors 
and students can qualify to receive the OSHA 10 hour and 30 hour safety instruction card, which is an item that most employers recognize and value. We include work-based learning or WBL as part of our planning guide to give students an opportunity to work in a construction related job as part of a class to give them on the job experience and a real time view of the career field. This along with the Wake Tech apprenticeship program is a huge benefit to both employers and students by providing students with construction work experience and could lead to continuing employment after college. The construction market is ever growing at a rapid pace and employment opportunities continue to grow. We've heard from many general contractors that their experienced personnel are closing toward retirement and they need to hire and train new employees to replace them. If you're the type of person that enjoys putting things together, seeing a project grow from site work to finished building, likes to solve problems and don't want to be stuck in an office, then the construction field may be a good fit for you. If you're concerned about financing for college, we have seven scholarships available within our program and Wake Tech will work with you on financial aid and with veterans using the GI Bill. So visit our website at www.waketech.edu and search for construction management technology to find out more about the construction management program at Wake Tech. See you in the field. Wake Tech has a great hands-on program and learning on working on heavy equipment. They have really provided us with uh, a wide range of different types of equipment. It gives you hands-on experience and allows you to learn and to know the systems that you'll need to be able to work on when you get out into the real world. I think that Wake Tech's partnership with John Deere has been a fantastic way for us to see real world experience. Um, Wake Tech provides us with excellent resources and instructors to guide us and to teach us so that we will be prepared and ready to meet the world and our new career. Our internships uh, during the summer give us real work experience in an actual shop and so I think that by partnering with a major corporation like John Deere, Wake Tech has really set us up to have the best possible experience and to have a foot in the door when we when we look for careers after this. You get to put it together and make it work yourself. Um, it's the satisfaction of being able to do something with your own hands and then watch it function correctly. It's just very satisfying knowing that you can take uh, something that was a problem before and, and fixing it. Wake Tech has an awesome program. If you're considering doing anything with heavy equipment or any type of mechanic work, technician work, this is an excellent place to start. If you're thinking about coming here to Wake Tech, I would highly recommend it. The instructors are excellent. The equipment that we're provided to work on is state-of-the-art, brand new equipment. Uh, we have all of the resources we need, whether it's tools, computers, instruction, uh, everything is top notch and it's really the best place you're going to find to gain the experience you need for the career that you want. If you're fascinated with big machines and love working with heavy equipment, 
then the various programs within the Heavy Equipment Agricultural Technology Group may be a fit for you. There are a variety of fields to choose from between agricultural systems technology, construction equipment systems technology, diesel and heavy equipment technology, and heavy equipment operator. Agricultural systems technology is designed to provide individuals with the knowledge and skills needed to repair agricultural equipment. The construction equipment systems curriculum is designed to provide individuals with the knowledge and skills needed to troubleshoot and repair construction equipment systems. The diesel and heavy equipment technology curriculum is designed to provide individuals with the knowledge and skills needed to troubleshoot and repair medium and heavy duty vehicles. The agriculture, construction, and diesel programs have an associate in applied science degree and a diploma option with construction and diesel programs having two certificates with a focus in either fuel injection, electrical and electronics, or hydraulics, engines, and transmissions. Plus, there are John Deere curriculum options through the agricultural systems and construction equipment systems programs. The heavy equipment operator program has an AAS degree, a diploma, and four certificates with specializations in basic heavy equipment operator, advanced heavy equipment operator, welding and repair, and project management. Overall employment growth in these fields is projected to grow 4% over 10 years. As stock of heavy vehicles and mobile equipment continues to increase, the more service technicians will be needed to maintain them. If you are interested in a fulfilling career in the heavy equipment industry, then contact Paige Kearns or find more details under the transportation links at aet.waitech.edu. If you love working on cars, then the Automotive Systems Technology Program may be right for you. This curriculum prepares students for employment as automotive service technicians. It provides an introduction to automotive careers and develops skills necessary for this fast and ever-changing field. The Automotive Systems Program offers an Associate of Applied Science degree and four certificates. Their certificates specialize in automotive introduction, automotive brakes and suspension, automotive powertrains, and introduction to light duty diesel. Classroom and lab exercises integrate technical and academic coursework. Emphasis is placed on theory, servicing, and operation of brakes, electrical, electronic systems, engine performance, steering suspension, automatic transmission transaxles, engine repair, climate control, and manual drivetrains. Upon completion of the Automotive Systems Technology Program, students should be prepared to take the ASC exam and be ready for full-time employment in dealerships and repair shops in the automotive service industry. There is also a Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology AAS degree and diploma with certificates in Fundamentals 1 and 2. This program is designed to provide the knowledge and skills to complete structural and non-structural damage repairs, paint, and refinish on automotive equipment. Graduates of this program should qualify for entry-level employment in businesses that perform auto body repairs. There are scholarships available in these programs and courses fill up fast due to the high demand. Plus, most students are working in their industry after their first semester. The program has a strong industry partner base and a new facility at North Campus will provide new technology and opportunities to the growing program. If you are interested in a fulfilling career in the automotive industry, then contact Jerry Egan or find more details through the Automotive Systems Technology link at aet.
www.waitech.edu. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our presentation. I want to finish up by providing you with the contacts to other advisors. If you're in your first semester and, and beginning at Wake Tech, these are the two gentlemen that you would need to contact for AET. And here's other leadership within the AET department that you can contact as well. Any questions? Thank you so much for joining Wake Tech's virtual open house. Make sure to smash that apply button right now because we can't wait to see you as a student. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at admissions at wake-tech.edu. Thank you. Are there any companies in the area that employee or graduates in the automotive area? Absolutely. We are in high demand in that field. We have got more openings than we do students. So there are plenty of opportunities for students to get employment either during their academic career at Wake Tech through apprenticeships or work based learning or internships. And then afterwards, there is lots of activity for our students to go into whether, you know, there's many local dealerships, many local um, garages that are hiring our students. All right. Next student asks, I like to be outdoors and work. Those people you see serving on the side of the road, do you have any uh, programs like that? Absolutely. If you like being outdoors, you like working with your hands, you like, you know, getting into the mud and dirt, you like seeing something construct from ground up, We've got several programs available for you. We've got civil engineering technology. We've got geomatics technology, and then we have construction management technology. All of those will put you out in the field and you can, you know, play Tonka trucks and build with Legos, but actually you're doing real life work out there in the field. It's great. All right. So we actually have uh, one last question posted for right now. Um, yeah. This attendee says, my family has a farm and I don't know how to fix the tractors. What would you suggest I like, uh, I take to learn to maintain that machinery? Well, we've, we've got several options. We have got a heavy equipment and ag technology program, which actually does work on the large uh, commercial and the small uh, John Deere or those types of devices. You know, if you're into landscape, we have the ability to work on the smaller landscape type of equipment to the larger ag systems. So we definitely have a program for you. If you are just want to kind of get a feel for what it's like, then maybe you want to look at one of our certificates first and then move into a diploma or degree. All right. So uh, everyone, uh, we have two minutes remaining. Uh, we can take a little bit longer if you have more questions. So we we'll give you all a couple seconds. Um, Laura, would you like to share any fun facts about uh, your division um, and any facts that our attendees might not know about the programs or certain programs? Uh, you know, we we are starting for the first time in, in, a, in a long time apprenticeship programs in all of our pro in all of our areas. You know, you think about apprenticeships, you think about uh, plumbing, you think about uh, HVAC and things like that, but really in engineering and in automotive and in other programs, we are doing that. We have state-of-the-art facilities. We're either building them and the college and the Wake County has been very supportive of us doing that. You know, we have a huge demand out there for our students and we're really excited about being able to bring modern equipment, modern technology into our classroom and teaching the students the state-of-the-art applications. OK, we have another question. Um, this attendee uh, asked, I love working on cars. Do you have a program to learn body repair? We, we do have a, a program to learn body repair. It is actually going to really be in full swing in fall of 2021 when we actually move into the Hendrix uh, um, Excellence Center up at North Campus. We have a full state of the art collision repair program that will begin in the fall of 2021. Okay, all right. And we have uh, another question that just came in right after you finished up that one. Uh, this attendee asked, hello, what are your degrees available for mechatronics? I only see a certificate online. Um, 
what are the pre-qualifications? That's a good question. We know that there is a big demand for mechatronics, and so um, we have morphed our mechanical engineering technology and electronics engineering technology to actually offer that as a program. And yes, while there is a certificate in the fall, what you're going to see is a track that's going to be developed out of the mechanical engineering technology that will specifically be for the mechatronics programs. And uh, as far as prereqs go, you know, the prereq for any of our programs is that you like to solve problems, you know, you like to do math, you like to get in there and be hands on and and learn with your mind and your hands and connect the world with real life problems. And, and that's really the prerequisite for getting into any of our programs. The um, but, you know, come apply, explore and enjoy our programs because we have a lot to offer anybody. Uh, we at in Applied Engineering and Technologies have 18 programs to choose from, from Applied Engineering, which is the Civil, Geomatics, Architectural, Electronics, Mechanical, Interior Design programs, to Skilled Trades, which include um, air conditioning and refrigeration, to the plumbing, to welding, to electrical systems, and then, of course, in the uh, transportation, which includes automotive, collision, and heavy equipment, and heavy equipment operator programs. So I'm sure we have something that will appeal to any of you. If you like working with your hands, you like connecting your mind with your hands, working on either uh, problem solving with computers or with automotives or with HVAC systems, uh, welding, you know, we we definitely have a program for you. Okay, so Laura, I know our um, our Southern Wake campus houses the majority of our applied uh, engineering technology programs. Are there any other campuses or upcoming uh, um, news about any other offering, new offerings at, um, at other campuses? We do. We have a uh, majority of our programs are at the southern campus. However, we do have programs at the northern campus. So our welding, HVAC, and plumbing are there. We have two new buildings, one on the southern campus, which is a building automation uh, technology program, is going to be housed there along with electrical systems and HVAC. And then at the northern campus, we've got an exciting news. This spring we're going to be opening up to begin classes in the fall of our automotive technology building so that is the Henrik's center of excellence so we we've got exciting things happening we're growing and expanding every year we have something new happening and in fact in a few years you're going to see the uh, the building of a auto um a technology center on the eastern side of our ca uh, county near Zebulon. So yeah, we got some exciting things going on. Awesome, awesome. Um, so what do you have any um any suggestions for students that might be looking at one of the programs that were covered today? And also, uh, second part of that question is um. What type of jobs um, students can get? Is, is, are these local jobs primarily that when students complete these programs? Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, sure. If you want more information, then our website's aet.wagetech.edu. And certainly there's a wealth of information about the programs that we do offer on that website and the contact information there. As, as far as jobs, we have, as one of the videos said, we have you know, 90, 95 percent placement of our students in local jobs. And so the, the job market is booming for our our students and our technologies. And so, you know, there is a um, uh, definitely opportunities there. The other thing we are beginning to push is apprenticeship programs. So all of our programs are going to be pushing to look with our local employers and provide you know, at the same time you're doing your education, you are actually learning your trade, 
which is a great way to affirm your trade and and also get that experience and then network with our local employers. So, you know, we have got great opportunities for people for employment in, in high paying jobs uh, out there. If you've ever had your air conditioning or plumbing fixed, you know what kind of charges they're, they're paying. So just imagine what you could make as a technician in those fields. Okay. All right, so we have a question. Um, this attendee says, my son has already been accepted to Wake Tech pending his 2021 high school graduation. Um, he is interested in the AAS degree in automotive technology. How will those classes uh, work amidst COVID-19 and social distance, uh, distancing restrictions? Yeah, that's an excellent question. We have been running hybrid courses or online courses. We understand in our division that people need to be in our labs doing hands on activities in order to learn our trades. So what we've done is we've moved content to an online blackboard setting as well as having students come to class. Now we are social distancing in our class, so you'll see lower caps or capacities in our classrooms and we are are offering as many sections as we can and it's and trying to service as many students as we can but but we are operational in the southern campus as well as the northern campus and so please explore that when you see our classes listed you'll see where they have times where we actually do meet so so we're one of the few divisions that are actually doing the hands-on content all right so for the programs that were mentioned in the presentation um the pathway to self-employment or um students opening up their own uh, uh business in those areas um do you have students that complete those programs and do that path? oh absolutely we have lots of students that that do and and go on and become entrepreneurs or, or actually open up their own businesses now in order to do that you know what we recommend students do is make sure that they complete our program and they get the appropriate licensure for that particular area and then one thing about the apprenticeships or wbls is which is work-based learning opportunities is they do get you to network out there and actually work with somebody before you would jump in, over and and start your own business. So I, I definitely would learn from the experts. I'm a real big proponent of, you know, uh, follow those who've gone before you. And so certainly come and, you know, get your education. Uh, our instructors can and program directors can hook you up with uh, local employers, learn from that trade. And then if you want to start your own business, many of our students do that. All right. All right, attendees, this is the last call for questions. The last call for questions. So, Laura. Yes, um, sir. Are classes uh, able to be um, taken in the evening? We do have programs that are in the evening. Not all of our programs uh, are, um, are that way. Uh, our welding program, our electronics program is on in the evening. Our automotive program is in the evening. Uh, and we have a few others that, you know, they don't come to mind. But what I would do is if you're interested in that, contact the program director of the program you're interested in. Uh, again, at aet.wagetech.edu, they have all the information there for you to figure out who to contact and then start those conversations. And it's not too early, certainly for our high school students to start those conversations now and get some information about that. Well, thank you for joining our virtual open house. We hope you enjoyed this session. Please watch other sessions to find out more about Wake Tech. Thank you and have a great day.